inside the company, Bezos was a hard-charging manager relentlessly focused on the principle that would make Amazon one of the most trusted brands in the world. The customer always comes first. This culture of customer obsession. Obsessive focus on customer. Obsesses over, over our customers. Totally obsessing over the customer experience. We used to call it customer ecstasy. It means building, delivering, focusing on your customer. And we did it, you know, in the very, very early days at every stage. Jennifer Cast was there in the early days and is one of six top Amazon executives the company put forward to speak to us. Customer obsession was our North Star. Um, and so, you know, it was a place where we knew we were a part of something that was new, the internet. Um, there was an excitement that we were doing something that hadn't been done before. It was exhilarating. Um, we were all aligned around building for customers. Hey, you guys. Hey. <laughs> I've heard there was an empty chair that would often be put at meetings. Yeah. Who was in the empty chair? Yeah, so that empty chair was there to remind us all to understand the customer, have empathy for the customer, understand the details of the customer experience. The customer isn't there. We have to bring forward the voice of the customer. Oh. What am I right? What am I do? What? 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 Oh! What happened? These people snuck up on me again. God damn! I keep asking y'all not to sneak up on me like that. How long y'all been here? God damn! All right, y'all, y'all just seen. Now I'm just wondering what more can I do for the people that we serve. By the way. Giammi Day. 11, 2, 4, 20, dash 4. I'm on lockdown and I can't leave. And my kids is getting low. I got damn nerves. <laughs> Pray for me. All right, family, we just saw the secret to Amazon's success, obsession with the customer. Now, if anybody ever out there tried to get in touch with Amazon, you know that they really don't give a fuck about you. But it sounds good, and it's a good idea, obsession with the customer. Now, we here, we don't build customers. We build tribe members. We build family members. We, we, we believe in a reciprocity relationship, a reciprocity relationship. I want to be able to provide you with value, right? But in a sense, it is that obsession, right? I am committed to you. My goal is in building Giamme to make sure that we are able to give you something every day. That is the goal. That's all that I am invested in right now on this digital platform. I have for the last four years did a show every day for you, right? And when you're building your tribe, when you're building your brand, when you're building your business, you have to have a level of commitment that nobody outside of your circle will understand. And believe me, your circle will start expanding as people start coming in. Please understand, I did not start making headway on what I'm doing right now until year two and a half. That means that I was doing a show every day, every day for two years and a half. If you do your math, that's over a hundred and some odd shows before I started really making any headway. Please understand, that's a lot of ambrosia I was drinking and making and making sure that I was able to have it when people wanted it. It's a lot of writing books or repurposing some of my material. But if you are going to build and if you are going to be successful, you got to be dedicated to your audience. And family, let me say this. Some of y'all out here looking for big audiences. Let me share a secret with you, right? It's not the size of your audience. 
is the commitment of your audience. You don't want a large audience and don't be able to shit sell anything. Don't be able to do anything. Don't do they don't do nothing but come to look at your little breastises and or look at how good you look and stuff like that. And then they go on about their business. You want to build a quality audience that is accepting you for what you have to bring. And you're able to bring the real you. And once you start showing and sharing the real you, you will start finding the real audience. A lot of y'all are scripting your stuff. A lot of y'all are you, you're taking time to try to perfect what has already been perfected. What the people want to see is you. You understand? My small audience wants to see Brother High Tim in all his rawness. And let me tell you the dedication that I have because regardless of whether I wake up sick or I wake up with a lot of energy or I wake up with a lot of things to do, in some form or fashion, every day, my audience know that I will deliver on the Daily Toast. And what's even crazier about this whole Daily Toast piece and the Giami Journey Media Support family is that most of the people that support Giami Journey Media don't even regularly check out what I do. They just know that every day they could go to GiamiJourney.com or Giami Journey Media or they could go to GNJmedia.live or they could go to our Facebook page or they could go to our Periscope page and they know that I will be there. Right? They know that they could call and I'm going to service them. Y'all want to serve a big audience and a big audience is cool if that's what you want. But what you want is to build yourself a tribe, build yourself a small, dedicated group of individuals that are going to keep you on your on keep you on your P's and Q's. I'm just saying obsession. Now, Amazon is a billion dollar company. I'm not even talking about trying to compete with Amazon, but the idea of being obsessed with bringing value to the people that listen to you, bringing value to the people that uh, watch you, bringing value to the people that read you, bringing value to the people that, in a sense, trust you. And this is what we're trying to build here at Giami Journey Media, right? Building that tribe of individuals. And if you're interested in that tribe family, by all means, make sure that you check us out on our um, free gnjequals.com check it out now because i am challenging one of the young people one of the young warriors just happened to be my son young cleve to go on and edit this you know what i'm saying all those people that join the e-course if you come in and you check out the e-course and you decide to purchase the products that come with the e-course um cleve is going to get 50 percent of that if you click his link because every member of Giami Journey got a link for almost everything, if not everything, that we do, right? Because we're trying to build the digital content. We can help you create your digital content. You want to create an e-course, we could do that. You want to create an e-book, we can help you do that. You want to do a social media blitz, we can help you with that. You want to promote yourself on your social media, we can help you do that. You understand? A social media campaign, we can help you build that here at Giami Journey Media. Right? Because our goal is to serve you. Right? So, um, if you have any questions or any comments, by all means, hit us up in the bottom. We're going to move forward, you know, and we'll, we'll reach back out to you and conversate with you. All right? But I want to just thank you. And remember, in building your audience, in building your brand, you're building a brand, you're building a tribe of individuals. Be obsessed with the group that you have. Don't be don't be worried about those that aren't committed to you, that might stop in every now and then. Service the ones that are true to you. Look at me. Look. Look at me. I'm serious. Service the ones that are being true to you. Communicate with the ones that are being true to you. Because many people, I think, are trying to avoid the responsibility of a small audience. See, because a big audience, you could use the excuse. I, I couldn't get in touch. It's, it's too many emails. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh, uh. But when there's a small audience, there's a certain responsibility that you can't dodge. You have to communicate. 
You have to reach out. You have to be obsessed. You have to give them what they expect. And you know what's even greater about that? Guess who created the expectation? I do the Daily Toast because I love doing the Daily Toast. And when I no longer love doing the Daily Toast, somebody else will love it just as much as I did, and I'll be able to pass it on to them. You know why? Because I'm raising my replacement. That gets back into that nation-building shit that I be talking to y'all about. All right? But, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim, right? And I just want to remind you that we are the congregation of the mighty. The home of the stubborn minority. The place where your hustle build muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. And I am out. Watch the next video. Watch the next video. Watch the next video. No, I'm just joking, family. Family, thank you for joining us. Be sure to catch us on the next video, family. Peace. Watch the next video. Watch.